everyone does even here at the Dallas District event here at 6672 Fusion Court. Mil Milstein w winners last year at World, also 2022 World Champions, and also Fort Worth finalists. Here to check out their amazing robot. Really excited to walk through with you guys here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. Jay-Z, talk to me with your, about your intake because it seems really compact, but also many wheels. Talk to me more about it. Mm -hmm. So uh, to start off, we were inspired by Grasshopper's under the bumper intake. Um, however, last year, our intake was very narrow and our driver didn't like that. He wanted a full width of the robot intake. So we brought it over the frame and it covers the whole length of the frame. Um, but a problem that comes up from that is we need to center notes. And so we went through a few iterations and we came upon these uh, passive wheels right here that move the, the note to the center of the intake so that it can come right up into our shooter. Um, we also have the new Neo Vortexes on our uh, intake just to make everything super compact um, runs super smoothly. Um, and additionally, we have a little fun fact about our intake that uh, I'll pass it off to Jace to tell you back. Yes, our, the non-148 person, talk to me about your your steel bracing. Yeah, so we actually incorporated a steel bracing into our robot this year. We took a lot of inspiration from Team 148 last year with their smash into the wall. So they hit the wall extremely fast and we wanted to be able to do that at the source this year. So we integrated right in here. You can't see it, but we integrated 14 pounds of steel ballast into our front frame to ensure that that never bends once we're hitting the source. And so that allows for optimized cycles for max speed going in and max speed going out, being able to hit the wall as fast as we can and be as efficient as possible. Now, thank you, Jace, for that amazing exploration of 148 doing the steel bracing and giving it a 6672. Now, Taylor, talk to me about your swerve. Seems like you guys did something special with your swerve. Talk to me about it. Yeah, so one of the most important parts of any robot is the drivetrain and we're running Swerve once again this year, but with some devious upgrades. So first we've got Kraken motors on here now. These have a lot more torque. And to help with that, we also have new VEX grip lock wheels uh, to make sure our, our acceleration can actually be handled. Um, finally, we've gone from L2 to L4 gear ratio. So we're a lot faster. We we're zooming around a little bit. Zooming around as always. How, how has it helped you at Fort Worth? What, you guys are zooming on the field. What, things went really, really well for y'all? Um, not the beginning of the competition. We had a lot of things break, but uh, towards the end, we brought things back and got onto the final field. So that was pretty uh, that was pretty exciting. Now to continue with the note cycle, handing it off to Gabe. Talk to me about your pivot and your, your trap mechanism that you have over here. It seems like the chain is just really big with a big sprocket. Talk to me about it. Yeah, so um, we got the idea to go to a number 35 chain by the West Coast Products concept robot that they had. So we pretty much copied their sprockets and everything, like the 66 tooth sprocket at the top, the nine tooth sprocket at the bottom. We have a gear ratio of uh, 229 to one, powered by two Krakens down here at the bottom. And yeah, it's pretty beefy. So that's our pivot. Now to climb, we lift up this up here, the chain's around like this level, and we just drive into the chain, go down, pull that chain down, and we're climbed. We do have a trap mechanism that is uh, technically mechanically there, but not with the hooks that we have on there right now. So it would be the same idea of getting the chain in, except it'd be staying out here pretty far out, and it'd be coming down to the low position, these transfer hooks would pop out, grab the chain, then the arm would go back up. These hooks at the top would press the trap in. We'd X take it through the indexer and we'd make it go up a tiny bit, then fall down into the trap. 
move the arm back so that it actually counts at the end and we're not hanging on the trap. And yeah, that was our trap mechanism. I'm now let's head off to James. Talk to me about your shooter. Seems like you have a, right, the transfer system. Talk to me about how your shooter works, angle, everything like that. Yeah, so all of our aiming with the angles and obviously where the swerve is looking is automatic with the limelight. We're just running these two uh, or four, I guess, these thrifty bot wheels here. We have vortexes on either one that run uh, not connected so that we can put spin on the nose. They fly super well, super fast. Um, and then the way we score amp is we flip the pivot up. These act as almost alignment tools and we run the shooter wheels in reverse to dump the note into the amp and it just falls right in. Now let's hand off to Neil. Talk to me about your programming that you have and if possible, also see the robot in action as well. Yeah. Um, so uh, one of the big things about this year was the April tags. We wanted to uh, aim at the April tag and also um, using an interpolation table uh, have our pivot also aim so that we have the correct angle. So we have a couple data points that we tuned at home such that whenever the limelight sees the April tag, based on the distance it sees uh, between the robot and the April tag, um, the pivot will go to a certain angle and it'll align, align itself uh, to the April tag so that we get a pretty accurate shot. Um, in terms of autons, we just use path planner and just use uh, odometry to um, run our paths. Uh, James, talking about the, uh, the entire transfer system th throughout a match. Yeah, yeah, so anytime we want to intake, go ahead and go to the position. It pulls the pivot up, and then the note just comes right in, just like that. And then go to our amp position. So that's right up here. And then go to our up close subwoofer shot. And so we have multiple preset positions, but then also we can aim as well. Uh, go ahead, go to the amp, and we'll, we'll score it. So that's what it looks like for amp. And then obviously this is it. And then you can manually for what the climb would look like. So for climb, it goes up and then the chain comes in and then we would just pull it down. Yep, that's about it. Now, I want to ask you a quick question. 2022, you guys were basically the last pick at Worlds. Now you guys were basically like first pick of an alliance. What, what growth have you all seen? in these past two years and what have you used so far for this year as well? So I assume you're trying to make the ice ice third time in a row. So I saw, the plan? That's always the plan, always the plan. Um, yeah, definitely we've been we've just been getting better every single year. Uh, the experience, uh, everything the team learns, it's helpful. Um, the team has learned a lot from getting to play with such great teams at, at Worlds and on Einstein. Um, and so I think we're only going to be better this year. What advice could you give to some teams out there that want to be like y'all? Uh, we always say steal from the best, make up the rest. The hardest thing is just finding what the best is. So do your research, look at robots, and then if you like something, take it. Well, Fusion Core, thank you so much for taking the time to walk us through your amazing robot. Really excited how you guys will do at Dallas this weekend. You guys did amazing at Fort Worth, Fourth Alliance, all day to finalists. So excited to see what you guys do here at Dallas. Again, thank, thank you guys so much, and congratulations on the great success you have so far. Thank you, yes. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.